everybody so um, I wanted to give you a little update it's been a few days since I've done a video but I was sick it's been raining it's a little chilly it's just not been not been fun um, but it's been about a week and a half since the video that I did um, after I spread the seeds in the beds and I am super excited to announce that the radishes are starting to sprout and it's just the radishes the carrots will probably be a little bit longer and so will the lettuce and the cilantro um, and all the other things but um, yeah the radishes are coming I have one right here I wanted to show you guys look how cute he is little baby but yeah I have several just sporadically out here and I can see the seeds on the top and they're all starting to open up they're starting to germinate and um, radishes don't take super long to mature so hopefully I'll have radishes probably in the next three weeks I would say um, yeah they don't take super long if it gets really really cold they'll kind of like slow down a little bit but um, it's like perfect for them right now I also wanted to just give you guys an update another thing that I did this past weekend it was amazing it was sunny but I didn't feel good um, so I wasn't up for a video but I planted a bunch more onions I planted potatoes and all I did was I just buried buried them in holes but the onions I did and I will show you they don't need to be super deep and I've learned that mistake in my other bed which I'll show you what I did there um, they can't be super deep they need to be out of the top part needs to be out of the dirt and that's how they get bigger so what I did done is I just kind of like mushed them in there so you can see pretty much all of them are poking out some of them had already sprouted um got a couple of them that have already sprouted so we'll see what happens with that i'm not really sure but i just wanted to try a few more onions just to see what happens um i planted the onions i've got some in this bed some in this bed but i planted i went and got me and this is the only one that you can really see because the rest of them were just bare roots but this is a strawberry plant so i put my onions with my strawberry plants because the onions help deter um i think it's aphids um from the strawberries it keeps critters little bugs away from it a little bit more um so yeah so there's that but this is what i did with my other onions because i realized i planted them a little bit too deeply um looking for my little dog he's just running around um i planted them a little too deeply so what i did is i came out here and i just dug and you can see where i did it i dug around each one of them not to disturb the roots but to get the tops out from under the soil and some of them I'm super excited they're they're bigger than they were when I planted them so we got this guy right here this yellow onion it's doing really well we've got some red onions that are doing well some white onions the uh I think the red seem to be doing a little bit better than the others um but we'll see how that goes but I'm excited but I just want to give you guys an update um I'll have another video soon I separated out a bunch of basil yesterday that I'll probably do another video on separating basil. Um, it's pretty much exactly like tomatoes. Um, you, I mean, you have, don't even have to be as careful with the basil as you did the tomatoes. They, you can put them in water and they'll take root um, if you just cut them off of a plant. So I may show you a video on doing that once I get a little bit of a bigger plant. That'd be, that'd be fun. But yeah, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.